guys, welcome to Dr. Cyberlogic and today's video is going to be about assembling the Corsair Hydro X water custom water, water cooling system. Thank you for joining. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit that like button. All right, I'm going to start with mounting the two radiators. All right, now once we get the first radiator installed, we're going to install the second radiator. This one is going to be taking the place of my AIO, so that's going to be coming out right now. So let's take the AIO out. And now we're going to mount the radi the large radiator, the 360, to right here. So let's get that mounted. The obsidian case makes it very easy because there's a bracket. It's made it easy to change the... My other, part of the reason is because they make it so difficult to get the front off of it. So I'm going to do the two corners first. All right, now that the radiator is installed, let's put it back in, pull the wires. Line up to the holes and reinstall the screw. Now let's install the CPU block. So make sure you get all the old thermal paste off of it. I'm just using a paper towel and rubbing alcohol. If you have a microfiber, that would probably be better than a paper towel. That way you don't leave any paper residue. Okay, and once you get your CPU clean, we can install the new block. Alright, now that we're installing the CPU block, you want to look at this. This one is for an AMD. This one is for the Intel chips. So since I have an i9-9900K, I'm going to be using the Intel bracket. 
So the AMD one I'll put away just in case the new Ryzen chips are in, um, intriguing me in the near future. But right now my 9900K works perfectly fine, so I would see no reason to upgrade it. So now with the screws that you're going to put in, make sure you add the little washer from the kit onto the end of the screw. Don't want to forget the little plastic washer. So this goes on the back. And that goes through the hole. Remember the rubber portion goes up against the back of the motherboard, not the metal. Once you have the bracket installed, now we're going to install the CPU block. So I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to put it directly on there. And should fit perfectly there. There we go. When you put these back on, make sure the plastic black piece, the spring, and the screw top goes on next. Now the CPU block is installed. These, the lighting cables from it, they can be daisy chained together. I'm going to do it in the back end, but this will connect to here. And then finally only one has to be connected to the lighting hub. This is much better than the AIO since the AIO had a lot more wires and a lot more ways to make the wiring job look horrible in here. But this is looking great. Let's continue with the next step, which is going to be installing the pump. So now we're going to be mounting the reservoir pump combo directly to the radiator right here. For this, we're going to attach the radiator mount with the round thumb screws. And it should screw right in. So you're going to do that all four. Next, we're going to attach the pump reservoir combo to the mount. To do this, make sure you face these two facing out. You can use one as the outlet and one as the inlet, or you can use an inlet up top on the right side. The hole on the left is the fill port. And then you're just going to screw that in with the thumb screws. Now don't forget, if you forget to cover this hole back here, you can just loosen those up a little bit, that will drop right down. So what I'm going to do is install the temperature. So this temperature sensor is to get the temperature of the, of the coolant. So just screw that in there. Screw it in tightly by hand. 
And then you can just move the bracket back up. And don't forget to retighten the bracket. All right, now what we're gonna do is mount the reservoir pump combo directly to the radiator right here. Now you can either try screwing it in, in here. If you have a case like mine, I'm gonna make it easier on myself and remove the radiator. But some people do have bigger cases and can get that screwed in easily. Thankfully this case makes it very easy to just pull this entire radiator out and then screw this in here. All right, so I unscrewed the, I unmounted the radiator, I mean the reservoir, just to show you that there's holes on almost every side. So I have the one hole for the, th the temperature sensor I was showing you. This hole, you, before you even mount it, you're gonna wanna cover that up, just to, so you don't forget to cover that hole up. Right there, use the provided turnkey and tighten that as much as possible by hand. You don't want any leaks. Now that the pump is installed, you're going to want to replace your radiator back into the system. So once you get the radiator back in, just move out all the wires out of the way. So So make sure you put a fitting in every single location that you're going to have one of the tubes go into. So when you connect the tubing, you want to put the outer metal ring on first, then the O-ring, and make sure the edges are smooth before you put it in because you don't want to tear, there's an O-ring inside of the fitting, and you don't want to tear that because fittings are expensive, and you don't want to have to replace them. So when you put it in, you got to push up inside. Don't stop ahead of time because push that in as far as you can go you do not want this system to leak so push it in push it in on the other side and then screw in the fittings now you should have a solid seal and that should not leak See what I like about the PETG tubing? It has a little bend to it, so it doesn't have to be exact. It has to be as close to exact as possible, but you can get away with a little bit being a little bit off. All right, that's how you put in the tubing. Now let's continue. Now that is how you install all the parts into the Corsair Hydro X system. When doing the tubing, you're gonna have some measurements that are a little bit off. 
even even experts at this they screw up sometimes they miss an angle or don't they cut too much off and they're not supposed to so just make sure if you do take my advice and get the tubing separately just buy extra just so you have enough in case you make mistakes especially if you're a beginner you're going to make a lot of mistakes so let me show you the final product and then my next video is going to be wiring so please subscribe and like the video if you if you enjoyed it so let me finish by showing you the final product when the valve is closed it's going to come this way around here through the graphics card into that radiator out of the radiator into the cpu block out of the cpu block over and into the radiator and then back down into the reservoir all right like i said please subscribe if you liked what you saw and hit the like button. You guys have a great day. See you soon.